Forget about acquisition. Acquisition is tertiary. The primary goal of lifting. Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be Let your mind be Holy God's fire! Invest in your health and your well-being. Invest in your health and your well-being. All through this break and for the rest of your life, invest in your health and well-being. I put in bracket rest. R-E-S-T. Please write it. Isn't it amazing that rest can be an instruction? Rest. In Genesis chapter 2 and 2 and 3. Genesis chapter 2, 2 and 3. A scripture that delivered me years ago. And on the seventh day, God ended his walk. That means if you are lazy, you are not like God. Please look up. This is a message already for someone. The Bible says, even though God owns all things, it was not an excuse for laziness. How can the creator still be walking? The Bible says, on the seventh day, God ended his walk, which he had made, and he rested, and he rested, and he rested. God rested. On the seventh day from all his work which he had made. Verse 3. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work. Can I tell you? Rest. Medical science tells us that rest is therapeutic. There are many people who have died today not because of demons. It is the absence of the understanding of the laws of life. Are we together now? spirituality if not tampered with wisdom can lead a man to destruction especially in africa we pride in a lot of fanatism without the boundary that wisdom brings and we stretch ourselves not knowing that we are still bound in this mortal body and we do that to our detriment there are people today collapsing left right and center you see the thing about health as i have learned is that the consequences are not seen immediately it usually accumulates one upon another. If in your 40s you start having a health problem, chances are excellent. It is the cumulative effect of carelessness from right from early 20s. Just because you are careless with your body and you wake up fine does not mean you are all right. Are we together? Give yourself continually to word and prayer and then invest in your health. In Mark chapter 4 from verse 38, very powerful scripture. Mark 4, 38. Apostle, you are saying I should rest. It's because you don't know the fire that is on my mountain. The Bible says, and as he was in the hinder part, the he being Jesus of the sheep, asleep on a pillow. In fact, let's do 37. Let's start from 37. The Bible says the disciples were going to the other side and there arose a great storm of wind. Is that in your Bible? And the waves beat into the ship so that it was now full. What happened to Jesus? And he was in the hinder part of the ship asleep on a pillow. What details? You can rest in the midst of storms. Don't give me an excuse that because the, there are storms, you do not rest. Jesus showed us that even in the midst of storms, I will soar with you above the clouds. Father, you are king over the storm. And I will be still and you are God. My soul be still. Sing it one more time for me. When the ocean rolls, Also, right now, if I, if I have a way of getting, even if it's a small bag of rice, 
I will be the happiest person. Rest. Rest is not all about closing your eyes. You can close your eyes and still be awake. I hope you know that. In fact, there is a, there is a skill of worry that happens only when your eyes are closed because then your imagination is alive. Rest. Even though I'm talking about your health, it extends to every... Let me tell you this. The Bible says, except the Lord builds a house. It's in your Bible. Except the Lord builds a house. It says they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord watches over a city. It says the watchmen watch it but in vain. That it is vain to wake up early in the morning and to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow. But here is a gift many of us have not received. But he giveth his beloved. So rest and sleep is a gift. You have accepted anointing. When God stretches his hands, collect everything that comes from him. Rest is a gift that also comes from him. He giveth his beloved sleep. Hallelujah. Invest in your health as a commitment to your longevity. I have charged you here. I do not believe that medical science is, is an interruption to faith. Faith is a journey and believers grow and transit. There is a level of divine health in experience. But while we are transiting to that dimension, we thank God for the gift and the blessings of medical science that midwife our health while we keep transiting. Do not feel embarrassed to seek the attention of medical science. You are sick and you pray and it does not work. Please go and don't be discouraged. There are many people who just paying attention to a doctor's report can, can bring to end many needless prayer points. Prophesy to yourself. Say rest. rest. Say my soul. My soul. Find rest. My, rest. my body. My body. Find, rest. Find rest. You know, we speak to our souls and we leave our bodies. Find rest. Is someone learning already? Take it as an instruction. Rest. When you close your door, don't just say, I'm praying. You, when you are done praying, rest. There are times you can lie down quietly. This is one of the reasons why in spite of the blessing of the Lord, especially upon Africa, it looks like, you know, statistic tells us that the, the average lifespan, I don't know if it's, if I've not verified the latest, but I think it was about 48 or there about, you know, um, some time back. Minus me. In the name of Jesus Christ it says with long life shall I satisfy you and show you my salvation but you must rest so use this opportunity to rest use this opportunity to rest forget about acquisition acquisition is tertiary the primary goal of lifting Use it quickly. Oh, fire! Be concentrated. Let your mind be... Holy God's fire! For